Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The first issue of War of the Bounty Hunters recently dropped and man was the issue baller as hell. I was straight up pumped after reading it. The new series written by my man Charles Soule delves into Boba Fett working to deliver a frozen in carbonite Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine, him losing Jabba's prize bounty along the way, and the madness that ensues afterwards. The issue saw the return of a pretty significant character, so I wanted to discuss what that character's appearance in War of the Bounty Hunters could mean for future Star Wars projects. We're gonna get into some spoilers for War of the Bounty Hunters, so turn back now if you don't want anything spoiled. The comic saw the return of none other than our homegirl Kira, which was so dope to see and had me reeling at the issue's conclusion. The events of War of the Bounty Hunters takes place after the events of The Empire Strikes Back, sometime between 3 ABY and 4 ABY, which means that Kira is still alive and kicking some 15 years after the events of Solo, A Star Wars Story. So, now that Kira has re-emerged in a new Star Wars story and survived almost a decade and a half after the events of Solo, what could this mean for other Star Wars projects down the line and could Kira play a role in them? The most obvious project that could involve Kira is a sequel to Solo, which I'd be all about. Solo is a fantastic film and it really got the dookie end of the stick when it was released. Whether that's justified or not is a topic for another video. Since Solo's release, I've been clamoring for a sequel to it, so I'd be 100% down to see a continuation of that story and to see what happens after the conclusion of the film. Disney and Lucasfilm originally seemed to be poised to create a sequel for Solo, but due to its box office performance, that sequel seems to have been shelled at least for now. With that said, that was before the advent of Disney+, Plus, which makes Solo 2 seem like much more of a possibility now, as a sequel to Solo could be a limited series or a movie solely for the streaming service. Disney is really going hard in the paint to create Star Wars content for Disney+, Plus, and a sequel to Solo seems like a project more destined for the streaming service rather than for the big screen. Furthermore, with Kira reappearing in War of the Bounty Hunters, if enough people make a buzz about this series, her inclusion in it and her story, Disney and Lucasfilm could take notice, helping to push along a possible sequel kind of like the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Solo's director Ron Howard said last fall that fans' continued interest in a sequel could help lead to one. Additionally, Alden Ehrenreich, who originally signed a multi-film deal with Lucasfilm in the event that there were sequels, said last summer he'd potentially be open to returning for a Solo sequel. This all leaves the door open for a potential sequel to Solo, and having Kira returning in War of the Bounty Hunters could very well be Lucasfilm's way of putting their toes in the water to see how fans might react to a Kira sighting. Aside from setting the stage for a sequel to Solo, Kira's re-emergence also sets up the possibility that she could appear in the upcoming Lando Calrissian series. Very few details have been released so far in the Lando series, so we don't know when the show takes place or what to direction the story will take. With that said, I wouldn't put it past Lucasfilm to have Kira and or Han Solo appear in Lando, using it like a backdoor pilot for a potential Solo sequel series, kind of like what they did in the Clone Wars with the Bad Batch, as well as in the Mandalorian with Ahsoka. If Han and or Kira were to appear in Lando, that would totally open the door to some kind of sequel to Solo. Not only would I love to see a continuation of Kira's story, but I'd also love to know more about what Maul's been up to following the conclusion of Solo and getting to see Kira and Maul work together within Crimson Dawn would be so baller. Now, this could all be conjecture on my part and me thinking too much about this, but I know I'm not the only person who's clamoring for more screen time for Kira. The homies from Star Wars Explained also recently dropped a video on their thoughts on what Kira's appearance in War of the Bounty Hunters might mean for Solo 2, so check their video out if you haven't. At the very least, Kira's appearance in War of the Bounty Hunters was not only super unexpected and exciting, but it also potentially paid the way for fans to see more of her down the line. I'm in the camp of let's make Solo 2 happen, so I'm gonna cross my fingers and just hope that Kira's reappearance in War of the Bounty Hunters is the start of some awesome and new on-screen stories featuring our homegirl. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see a sequel to Solo? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.